Hello, in this IMS 2.0 video, we're going to be talking about the click to call button. The click to call button is located on the action page in the IMS directly to the right uh, of the lead name summary area. The important parts about this button uh, that you want to remember are that once you click it, uh, your phone will begin to ring, you'll answer the phone, you'll hear the word or recording the word calling, and then you'll hear the lead's phone ringing. Hopefully the lead answers and you have a, a successful conversation. After each call attempt, or after each time you uh, click the call button, a lead update request uh, will be shown. Basically, it'll ask us, ask you to tell us what happened on the call. Did you schedule a meeting? Was it a wrong number? Did you get a voicemail or did the person uh, not have time to talk or they weren't home? Or did you actually have a conversation with the lead? Let's say that you select you schedule a meeting or meeting set. The next thing that you're going to be asked to fill in is what type of meeting did you schedule? A face-to-face, -face, a webinar, or a next call? You can add a note. You can choose whether you want to add uh, a reminder for the meeting and then click save. The lead status will automatically be updated to client if it's not already in a client status. You schedule the meeting, um, that's probably a client, but you can change it if you want. Let's say you select wrong number. Once you click that button, wrong number, it's going. this whole area is going to change. It's going to look like this. Basically what we've done is update the phone number status to bad, and we'll talk more about the, the status of phone numbers in a bit. It'll also show you if we have any more numbers that might be available or tied to this lead that you might want to call. Those numbers, are they work the same way. You can click them and a call gets made immediately. In this area, we have some stats for each individual phone number associated with the lead. Red text means you haven't had a conversation or it was basically an unsuccessful call. Green means that you had a conversation. So it gives you the, the number of attempts and then the time or the time since uh, your last attempt with that phone number. Let's say you select voicemail. You, you click the call and you got the leads voicemail. Once you click that button, it immediately updates to this area. We automatically schedule a future follow-up call uh, with the lead for the next re reminder time. It would either be at noon or 6 p.m. or 8 a.m. depending on when the, this call was made. Does the lead have more than one phone number? We just talked about that. It uh, gives you the opportunity to quickly go through and try every number that we have associated with the lead. So again, we have the call stats, which are beautiful. Let's say that you actually got someone on the phone and you click the Had Conversation button. What's going to open up next underneath there is an area where you can choose a status for this particular lead. You can add a note. Click save. Now let's say, uh, now let's say that I'm going to double back here, but you clicked had conversation, you selected a prospect status or client status. Now you have the opportunity to add or select a star rating for your prospect or client, depending you know how you, how good you feel about this person. You can add a note. Click save. And once you click save, because you put it in a prospect or client status, we're going to schedule an automated reminder to follow up with this lead in two days. You have the ability to remove that reminder by clicking a button, or you can schedule it out, or you know, schedule it out for a week or two weeks or whatever you desire right from that area. Let's say after you had a conversation with the lead, you did not want this lead in your database anymore. They already have a realtor. They're not qualified. Who knows? Or you want to, it's just not the lead for you and you want to assign it to a different agent. Either one of those buttons are going to pull up reasons why you selected them. We ask that you select the best one 
like remove this lead while well, they're not qualified or they're working with another realtor. Just select the best one. If you want, you add a note, click save, and the lead will be removed from your IMS database within about 24 hours. Click the call. It may look like this. It may look like a bad, invalid. That's if all the numbers that are associated with a lead are, quote, bad. You might see this when all, we have more than one number associated with the lead that are good. They have to be marked good numbers. When you click that button, this choose a call area opens up and allows you to pick which number you want. We might have a number for the buyer and the co-buyer. So you get to select which one uh, after you click that click the call button. A few things to remember. Um, no longer will the status of a lead be tied to the status of a phone number. Individual phone numbers will now have their own status, good, bad, or unknown, and be separate from lead status. Good basically means an agent has confirmed the number is not bad. And they chose anything besides wrong number after a call attempt. Unknown, the agent has not yet recorded any calls to this number or bad, the agent has marked a call as a wrong number. Phone number reconciliation is almost entirely managed by the IMS or the system. You don't have to do much. Uh, the system automatically orders the phone numbers to call for the agent. If we only have one good number, obviously that's the number that it's going to call when you click the call button. If there's six good numbers, uh, you're going to click that button and be presented with those six numbers to choose from because we know they're all good. Be, you know, they're not bad. Or you're going to see this button where we don't have any good or unknown numbers. Everything is bad associated with the lead. If the lead has zero good or unknown numbers, the phone numbers available for a lead, the lead status will automatically be updated to bad phone numbers. If we don't have any good numbers, the status automatically updates. You can change it if you'd like. At least two non-bad phone numbers available for the lead. The agent can't select the lead status of bad phone numbers. If there is only one good phone number available for the lead and you change the status uh, without making a call attempt to bad phone numbers, uh, we'll automatically set the status for that phone number to bad and update the lead status to bad phone numbers. That's the end of the explanation or the, the review of the click to call button. So thank you and I hope you all have a nice day.